Hello everybody, today I have 18 Hoyas to show you that you guys have not seen yet. I have purchased them way before I knew that my plants are trying to kill me. Plants that I'm going to show you today I purchased starting last spring all the way until last August. That was my last purchase of plants. I guess I'll split them up in different categories. We'll start off maybe with larger leaf Hoyas and move on to smaller leaf Hoyas. Hoya number one is Hoya Erythrina Nara. She is pretty big up to here. And look at the foliage on this Hoya. It's very veiny. It's pretty thick, but still kind of flexible. When I purchased this Hoya, it only came with one leaf right here. And we have another one, two more right here this long vine and two more leaves right here and there's a little vine right here that at some point kind of dried up on me but it's all right it's a beautiful Hoya I love veining on it I love very dark foliage and veining is really prominent on this Hoya you can actually feel it so pretty cool Hoya next Hoya I have here is Hoya carnosa spotted also getting pretty tall. Here's the foliage on this Hoya. It's very, very splashy, especially this leaf right here. It's so pretty. I have two more leaves here. It's not as splashy with the new foliage, but I think it's a light situation. I have been growing her in my grow tent and I feel the splash has to do with the lighting. It might be getting too much light. If you guys have this Hoya and it maintains splash for you, let me know what lighting you guys growing this Hoya in so we can all figure it out how to get more splash on this Hoya. Next Hoya I have and that one I'm not very sure if I showed it to you yet. I don't think I have and this Hoya although there was a lot of them on the market at that time not a lot of them had genetics that I was looking for so it took me a while to purchase but I found exactly what I was looking for and this is Hoya Crassia Palata Splash and this girl is gorgeous look at the foliage on this Hoya you guys absolutely beautiful She's also getting pretty big and this is the newest leaf on this Hoya. It's getting foliage starting to get larger than the previous foliage, but I love splashing on this plant. It is absolutely beautiful. This is exact amount of splash I was looking for on this plant. Absolutely love this one. Next Hoya I have is Hoya Botanica so pretty the foliage on this Hoya is pretty simple but very thick foliage and I love veining on this Hoya and this Hoya also sun stress is very pretty I think that's what got me to get her and she's not very fast grower but she's growing pretty good for me and we got a new growth point here a new leaf is starting up and you can see a little bit of sun stressing another large foliage Hoya and this is not the largest leaves on it yet but this is Hoya Ricardo very very cool I purchased this Hoya as just few leaf cuttings when I purchased this Hoya it didn't really come in a great condition but I also got a pretty good deal on it so I wasn't expecting a perfect plant but I managed to recover her and grow a beautiful plant this is the cutting I have for myself and I do have another cutting in the grow tent that at some point I will share with you guys the foliage is pretty amazing I love how dark and glossy and veiny this Hoya is and this is the newest leaf so it's obviously starting to get larger it's still pretty soft compared to the older foliage and they will get much larger than that so I would say it's a very good grower it's pretty fast grower it doesn't give me any trouble other than in the beginning trying to rehab this Hoya and make it healthy next Hoya has been 
few years in the making. I have purchased it before, it died on arrival, so I decided to try it again. And this is Hoya Finlandsonia Chicken Farm. I got this Hoya in August of 2023, and I had to restart her recently, and I think she's already rooted, yes. And there is a roots already. And the reason why I had to restart this Hoya, let me show you the rest of it. This is the leaf right here. It came potted up already. And um, this three leaves were part of one plant and there was a vine. Vine dried up immediately, which is fine. It happens quite a bit when you ship plants. That was not a problem. The problem is having this Hoya since August. And yes, she's been treated. She's been sprayed and all that kind of stuff but she would not grow for me. Basically, whatever way I got her, that's the way she's been sitting in my house in this pot since August, haven't grown anything. And it's kind of started declining slowly on me. I didn't want to take any chances. I took this cutting and decided to reroot it myself. So, and as you could see, I hope you guys can see it next to that dry little stump, there is a new growth starting up, which is really good. So hopefully I'll be able to grow her and have a big plant at some point. Love the foliage on this Hoya. I love a little bit of the splashing. It's very, very firm foliage. Almost feels like a cardboard, you guys. Next Hoya I have, I actually purchased just to purchase it, I guess. And when I saw it in person, I was absolutely in love. And it moved up into my favorite Hoyas list pretty fast. This is Hoya Species Vietnam AH001. You guys, this is absolutely gorgeous Hoya. Look at the splashing on it. It's insane. And this is the newest leaf I got on this Hoya. It's very dark. It's maintaining the splash as the other foliage absolutely gorgeous you guys it actually did not look as good in the pictures when i was purchasing as it is looks in person so i hope camera shows how truly beautiful this plant is so this is hoya species vietnam ah001 highly recommend it Next Hoya I want to show you, I actually already have this Hoya. You have seen me unboxing it before, but it came completely reverted. So I have decided to try to purchase another cutting and see how it goes this time. So here it is. This is Hoya AH074. So pretty, you guys. Pretty solid silver. Have not started growing for me yet. It's been sitting like this for quite some time. But it's alive, it's healthy, and hopefully it will start growing pretty soon. And I hope she will maintain this beautiful silver. Let me show you my next large foliage Hoya, you guys. This Hoya was quite a few years in the making. If you guys remember my unfortunate Thailand import a few years ago, I actually had that Hoya in that purchase and um, for people who don't know that's when I didn't get half of my order and this was one of the Hoyas in that order and I finally purchased myself one and this is you guys Hoya Clemenciorum and it's big she's getting pretty big this is I believe two foot trellis right here and I purchased her as a cutting I only had one leaf right here, which is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this foliage, you guys, absolutely insane. Next to my hand, you can see how large this leaf is. So that's the only leaf that it came with. Again, it was just the cutting, I had to root it. And since then I got this leaf right here, this one right here, there's more right here right here so soft still very very new guys this is a little bit older it's a little bit harder there's another one very soft one and there is two more new babies as you can see and the vine actually loops all the way around and it's like right here finally got my hands on it absolutely love it 
gorgeous gorgeous foliage you guys and i find her to be pretty easy hoya she rooted pretty well for me very fast and as you could tell she's been growing pretty well she's been growing in my grow tent under pretty intense light and i don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it how sun stressed the splash is on some foliage it looks very very dark purple and at first i thought it has some kind of issues but it's not it just really sun stressed splash on the foliage you guys at some point i will try to grow her in my natural environment in my home and see how it goes but right now all i know it grows well in the grow tent with high humidity and very bright light and i believe this is my last large foliage hoya that i have to show you and i briefly showed you this one before i made a little short when she was blooming but i haven't formally introduced her to you guys so this is hoya pachiclata variegata this hoya is absolutely gorgeous as you could tell the little peduncle right here so she bloomed for me twice already and the, that second bloom i showed it in the short i will link it somewhere here so if you guys want to see the bloom and um this hoya is gorgeous when i got her i think i only had three leaves on it and it's growing more and this hoya is interesting because it's not a newest hoya on the market it's been around for a long long time but you can't always find it for some reason and i was also very picky about this hoya i really wanted really good variegation on it so i found what i was looking for absolutely gorgeous pretty slow grower foliage feels pretty firm just any other pachiclata and it does feel kind of suede on both sides of the foliage. And I love that she's variegated, but she also has that matte looking foliage. Absolutely gorgeous. I hope she will grow big and beautiful at some point for me. I guess it is time to move on to smaller foliage Hoyas. And I don't even know where to start, you guys. I guess let's start with this. This Hoya that I'm going to show you, I do have it in a green form and i really like it it's not anything crazy uncommon but i do really like it and i think it's right behind me actually right there on a wooden trellis it's hoya kumindiana elbow look at the foliage and this little girl it's adorable it is so so cute that delicate tiny foliage and i love the variegation that it's maintaining pretty well for me here and i got her she was a teeny tiny little cutting i believe i only had this one leaf right here and this two right here so she has grown this much for me and i feel that foliage that grew in my care is a little bit smaller than foliage that i got from the seller and it's really because it's just growing in different environment in my home that it was growing at the seller's house love this hoya super adorable and love the variegation on it and such a tiny delicate foliage another smaller foliage hoya i have here and it's my little runaway rhm 023-01 it's very cute you guys tiny tiny little foliage it's very thick foliage very dark foliage and she does have a little bit of splashing kind of reminds me of croniana but it does have abs if you guys can see it there is some veining on those leaves very cute next small foliage hoya i have i just don't remember if i showed you this hoya so i'm decided to throw it into this video and kind of show it to you if i have so consider it to be an update from previous video if not then here you go you get to see it for first time so this is hoya species gps 7240 so cute very slow grower but i love how perfectly round the foliage is and it looks like grapes so so cute there is some sun stressing going on here and some stressing on this last few leaves absolutely beautiful feels pretty fuzzy on both sides of the plant 
pretty cute. And the last five Hoyas I want to show you guys, they are all Lacunosas, you guys. Let's start off with this one. This is Hoya Lacunosa Mr. Tent. Very cute foliage on this Hoya. It has very veiny, thick foliage. It does have some splashing on it. And I would say it's a pretty fast grower, you guys. I think when I got her, I only had maybe a couple of nodes cutting and now it's getting pretty big. Next one that I want to show you guys, also pretty fast grower. I got two little cuttings, but they were literally one node cutting. And look at this monster now. This is Hoya Asami. It has grown so much, so fast. Seller sent me two different cuttings. One had a little bit more variegation on it than the other. So I rooted them both and decided to put them together. And I feel like it turned out to be such a good mix of both. Variegation is really varies throughout the plant, but it's so, so pretty, you guys. Look at this leaf right here. It's completely white. Absolutely gorgeous. Foliage on this Hoya also very, very thick. It kind of reminds me of my little runaway. Also have those little abs, I guess, on it. And I love the variegation that is not just white. You can also see some pink in there. I find her to be very easy, small foliage Hoya. Next three Hoyas that I want to show you guys. They're small leaf Hoyas and they are silver Hoyas. They're all Lacunosas. Let me start off with Hoya Lacunosa Silver. Look at the foliage, you guys. It's so silver, it's so shiny, it's so delicate. It is absolutely beautiful and she is long, you guys. She is very long. I don't know how to show you, but she's pretty long. She has bloomed for me on this peduncle, which I find them very weirdly long. Do you see this? It's an old peduncle, it's gonna fall off any minute here, but she bloomed on it quite a few times. I think she finally exhausted this peduncle and she's just gonna drop it. Absolutely beautiful and very fast grower, you guys. In fact, I have two of them because at some point I made cuttings and I think because this Hoya came to me with root mealybugs. In fact, all of the Hoyas from that one seller came with root mealybugs, which is, was kind of an issue, but it's all taken care of now. And that's how I end up, I guess, with multiple cuttings here. So, but she is rooted, she is healthy on both cuttings here. As you can see, there is a ton of roots. I think I might just put her in one pot and just make it a little bit fuller because it feels like really stringy and long. <laughs> Next Hoya I have is Hoya Lacunosa Silver Mint. And honestly, I don't really know what's the difference between silver and silver mint. There is really no difference in coloring, but you can see them side by side. The mint silver right here have a to me, it just has larger foliage than just Lacunosa silver. So, and the way foliage feels, leaves on both Hoyas feel pretty thick. And the back of the leaves looks about the same. So there is really, other than I feel like the size of the foliage, I don't really see much of the difference. Ooh, they're stuck. And since both of them are Lacunosa, so they all gonna have pretty much same blooms. And the last silver Hoya I have here is Hoya Lacunosa Luisa Silver. Right here. Also very silver foliage, pretty tiny. I feel like this might be the smallest foliage. And the difference with Luisa Silver that I see is there is a modeling on the back of the foliage. I hope you guys can see it, where the other two Hoyas don't have that, including Lacunosa Silver. And here is the 
side by side you could see that Louisa silver is a little bit more smaller uniformed foliage when it's silver one I feel like the foliage size varies so other than that they look pretty similar to one another I don't think anyone needs three different type of silver lacunosas the reason why I end up getting three different kind because I just wanted to see what's the difference why there's so many silver lacunosas out there all of a sudden so I purchased three I like all of them I like all three of them they're very very cute love the coloring I love that that silver is just so stable it is not going anywhere and I find them to be pretty fast growers maybe not Louisa silver as much as the other two but just like any lacunosa I find them to be pretty easy I guess that concludes my little plant haul from almost a year ago <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video let me know which Hoyas are your favorite which ones you already have or would like to get it's nice to hear which one grabbed your heart the most and um, if you like this video like it if you want to subscribe subscribe and I will see you very soon thanks for watching bye